we are all made up of stories. These stories remind us that we all belong. They revive memories. They make us reflect on the time gone by. January 2020, we expanded the organization. We basically doubled the organization. So when March 23rd lockdown was imposed by Prime Minister Modi, it was a big shock to us because we had invested a lot with a lot of hope and aspirations. But the first thing that came to my mind was, how do I protect my people? How do I take care of them so that they won't lose their lives? So without thinking, we shut the whole organization instantly. With our offices shut, we quickly transitioned into working from home, knowing it was not going to be easy. We were gripped by uncertainty and still unclear on the next steps. But elevators was an essential service and we had to keep going. Since we are in an industry which deals with you know, emergency situations like uh, in sometimes passenger trap in the elevator or breakdown calls and all, so simultaneously we also need to plan ki how to make our people you know, remote so that they can you know, serve the emergency services. And for that we had a very difficult time but subsequently we managed. Our heroes were the customer engineers who actually you know, supported, uh, supported the customer in fact. Uh, with limited number of people serving in the field that was a difficult task. Secondly, those people also had in their mind background somewhere, you know, COVID is there, their parents were scared, their families were scared. We also know that there are also patients in India who are growing up in India. Those patients who are coming to Mumbai airport, we had a lot of tension. We were scared of some of them, that now we have to go to our workplace, and COVID is starting. So, at that time, my wife was pregnant. At that time, my wife was a little bit of a dark feeling. आप मैं प्रेग्नेंट के टाइम में आप बाहर जा रहे हैं मैं बोला ऐसा कोई नहीं है हम कंपनी के तरफ से आप देखिए सारे वीडियो दिखाया कि देखो हम लोग सारे सेफ्टी का मान के हम लोग काम करके कस्टमर को हेल्प कर रहे हैं देखिए आपके तरफ से कोई आदमी फंसा हुआ है कोई प्रेग्नेंट वोमेन फंसा हुआ लिफ्ट में तो लिफ्ट के वजह से नहीं आ पा रहा तो उस टाइम में कैसे फील होगा इट इज अ बिग डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी बिकॉज आई वॉज हैंडलिंग द हाउस कोर्स एंड द ऑफिस वर्क एज वेल So it was a bit difficult for me, but yes, everybody was very cooperative. Like I attended some of the seminars that uh, Schindler organized, and they are, they introduced something like the silence hours. So from one to two there won't be any call, and after seven o'clock there won't be any call. And they also um, give the two days or three days leave, paid leaves also. So that was good. Means we can uh, give all the time to our families. It definitely wasn't easy from working from home while managing household chores to having no means to travel for our service teams. Checkpoints were set up at every corner asking for proof of permissions. Therefore, ensuring our service teams had the necessary clearances and appropriate safety gear was the most important aspect. Our back end had to be solid. Through all this, our team kept their spirits high and continued to deliver uncompromised service. Gradually, we started seeing glimpses of normalcy as the first wave passed. Offices were now open and with teams picking up pace, work steadily resumed in the new normal. To be honest, when I started seeing people, I was very happy <laughs> you know, all together when the large crowd started exciting in. The energy was uh, very uh, very much uh, to an extent you know, that started rubbing onto the other people also. The idea was that if you want a really good year closing, you have to build up to it. If you've gone through the hard part of March, April, May, you've gone through the reopening of June, July, August, September, now it's October, November, December. What you do in these next three months will determine how you're remembered for your performance in the year gone by. Uh, the results started coming in. We started celebrating a lot of milestones. We are back into the shape and we are back in the market telling our uh, you know, competitors or probably our builders telling that you know we are back in business, You know now we are there. Just as we began to think that the worst was over and that we had overcome our biggest challenges and were settling into the new normal, a more devastating crisis began to unfold. The second wave caught us off guard, leaving many families, employees and relatives affected by COVID. 
As we had the March 2021 results, uh, we were actually celebrating and uh, the first quarter was fantastic and uh, we were thinking that we are going to make up for the losses which we did in 2020 during lockdown and uh, suddenly something was waiting for us in the month of April and as the second wave hit Delhi, the entire operation started crumbling and a uh, lot of employees, their family members, we started getting cases that uh, they are being affected by COVID. Suddenly, uh, before we could do anything, we had a lockdown, second lockdown. And uh, we were hearing a lot of news that uh, there is huge shortage of oxygen in Delhi and the family members of our employees, they were asking for help getting admission in hospitals. So that is the time uh, as an organization we decided to gear up. We bought few oxygen concentrators and kept and we supported the people who wanted, uh, even the employees or their family members. As an organization, we were not one to stand back. Team Schindler came through like a ray of hope. Right from planning vaccination drives, extending support to COVID-affected employees and their families, to planning wellness drives to keep the employees' mental health in check. We wanted to leave no stone unturned to ensure safety and help our employees feel secure. The other big shift that we had was focusing on psychological safety. The first one was that we were able to give additional Corona coverage ins insurance to all our employees. Apart from that, we started disbursing loans for emergency and an interest-free loan was being dispersed in less than two hours. We facilitated vaccination for all our employees. So today, more than 95% of our employees are already vaccinated. And now we have extended that to our subcontractors. So over there, we, we distributed happiness kits, a big kit which uh, contained um, essentials. So food, grains, etc., which would last them at least for two months. This was during the peak of the lockdown. Everything that we did for our deceased employees, the families of the deceased employees, right, because we lost three lives during the pandemic. I think that whole period was very difficult for us. providing medical insurance to all their dependents for the next five years, to providing education support till the children turn 21. It's not only when they are serving the company, but also if and when, God forbid, something like that happens, they are being taken care of, you know. It's not about the employee, it's also about the employee's family. Resilient and undeterred, as a team, we came out stronger than before from Wave 2. जनवरी फेब्रुअरी में काम किया और मार्च में 10-15 तारीख को मेरे बच्चों को फ्योर आ गया एडमिट करने के बाद है ना अभी दो तीन दिन एडमिट रह गया तो फ्योर कम हो गया था लेकिन उसके बाद दो दिन के बाद फिर फ्योर आया उन्होंने बताया कि इनको वो आरटीपीसीआर वो चेक किया तो वो बोले इसको कोविड हुआ है उसको क्या किया फिर उधर ही एडमिट करके रखा और वेंटिलेटर पे था अभी वो बोले दस पंद्रह दिन फैक्ट्री निकल निकलना चाहिए तो उसके बाद ही आप उन कुछ कर सकते हैं तो तो वैसा नहीं हुआ मैडम एक महीना पूरा वेंटिलेटर पे था मेरे बच्चे तो उसके बाद क्या हुआ मेरे को कोविड हुआ उसके साथ था ना मैं तो मेरे को कोविड हो गया जी ऐसे बोलते हैं सिमिलर एक फैमिली है उससे ऊपर या कि मेरे को किया मेरे बच्चे के लिए इतना किया कि मैं कभी भूलूंगा नहीं Their mom used to admit in that operation room, and she stayed after delivery. She stayed for four hours because of lift is not there. The attendants are saying so many people, so many just born kids are waiting for you like that. I felt really, <laughs> and I just cleared in a such a good way. This is the best ever compliment I got from the TT girl. I'll definitely remember for life. I can't explain it in words actually. We ended on an exceptionally high note with enhanced market leadership and the launch of our business service center. As a team, we bagged major wins with key projects like the Kolkata Metro and Dhaka Airport. It didn't stop here. We were not only recognized as one of the best industrial service workplaces by great places to work, but also received our ISO certification. Despite all odds and the pandemic, we achieved growth. 
This really goes to show, where there's a will, there's a team working backstage to keep things moving. We rise to welcome a new tomorrow with learnings from the pandemic, knowing now that we can brave any storm together, powered by the faith and dedication of the Schindler family, and set on a path to achieve greatness as a team. The future of Schindler, first of all, is extremely bright. The way we are growing at double digits year on year is a testimony to the hard work that all my employees are putting. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to them. They have been the heart, blood and soul and they've given all of that for this organization.